This room. <clears throat> I like the sound of that. Ruan would be a perfect place for a vacation home. I think I might stay for a while. Huh. I had a feeling uh, you'd think so. I'll see to it that you get the finest place available, my lord. I believe you'll be quite satisfied. Huh. <laughs> You're quite the smooth talker. But good. Money is no object. Prepare me an estate that is worthy of your future king. Make it as splendid as uh, your holdings here. Pardon me, my lord, but wait a moment. The queen asked you to consult her before spending such an amount of... Silence, Philip. I am to be your next king. Such purchases are every day uh, for a man of my standing. Yes, of course. Well said, your grace. We can uh, get a written contract together shortly. But first, one more drink. Oh, ho Hi there. Hi there. Greetings from the Bracer Guild. You. What do you people want? You look kind of familiar. Oh, it's you. Hi, Mr. Butler. We just dropped by to talk to the mayor. No biggie. This won't do. If you're here on guild business, you should speak with some uh, semblance of manners. I'm in the middle of an important discussion, so why don't you come back later? I apologize for our rudeness, Mayor. We intend no disrespect. We simply came to report to you that we have identified the arsonist. Ah, that. Well, then I suppose. My lord, would you excuse us for a moment? <laughs> no, say what you're going to say here. This sounds interesting, but... It's okay. Maybe the Duke will have uh, something to add. It won't do any harm for him to hear this, will it? Well, if we must. While we're on the subject, it seems that Matron Teresa was attacked again last night. Could the arsonist be linked to that? It seems very likely. Unfortunately, the attackers are still at large. I see. Still, at least you say... Uh, you say you know who they are now? So, who did it? Who, indeed? It's exactly who you think it is, Mayor Dalmore. Uh, I see. That's quite a shame. I was hoping I could make them see the error of their ways before it was too late. I suppose that was a vain hope on my part. Huh? Who are you talking about, Mr. Mayor? What do you mean, who? Why, the Ravens, of course. They've been hiding in, uh, hiding in ever since last night. I'm sorry, sir, but they aren't responsible. This time they claim, uh, to, they claim to be victims themselves. What? So, without further ado, the culprit is... Mayor Dalmore, Duke Dunan, Stuart Gilbert. You, Mayor Dalmore. We already have Gilbert in custody, and we know everything. We also have proof that you stole the money donated to restore the orphanage your lackey set on fire. Can you deny that charge? Nonsense! Do you think I know those people in the black clothes? Well now, that's a little strange. You didn't say anything about ba black clothes. This is absolutely ridiculous. Gilbert was acting alone. You don't know when to give up, do you, old man? We know that you were plotting to build vacation homes on the land of the orphanage occupied. Do you still deny the charges laid against you? Persistent little brats. But I've had uh, those envelope, uh, the, those development plans in place for ages. They're just part of Ruan city planning. What reason would I have to be so impatient that I'd resort to criminal acts? Well... How about a mountain of debts to pay off? Hello? Nile? What are you doing here? I figured I'd come to the mayor's place to do some investigating when I see you two going in. The whole thing smelled fishy, so I decided to sneak in. That's it in a nutshell. Just who the hell are you? Oh, I'm a reporter with the Liberal News. The name's now Bur Burns. Actually, I've been checking into the city's uh, financial affairs lately. And what do I see but that Mayor Dalmore here has been diverting funds from the city budget lately. I... that's... They're funds for the expansion project. I'm not buying it. You haven't even started construction. I thought it was kind of strange, so I dug deeper and found links to the airship company services. 
Now that was quite the little surprise. One year ago, you took more than a few trips to Calvar Republic. I, I was just sightseeing. A reasonable claim. But the truth is that you've uh, amassed a nice big debt over there, am I right? Um, you're losing me. How? By using town funds to speculate in risky, uh, commodities in the hopes of cashing in. Buying goods when they're cheap, selling them when they're high, that kind of thing. Oh, I get it. So how much did he lose? From what the fellow reporters over there told me, something to the tune of a hundred million yen. Mira. <laughs> Whoops. Can you tell I play Persona alongside this? What? One hundred million Mira? That's a hundred times the amount donated to the orphanage's rebuilding. I can certainly see why one might turn to crime over an amount that high. A hundred million? I'm pretty free with my spending, but I've got nothing on you. <clears throat> this isn't a competition, you know. Now that you mention it, he took funds from the city budget to pay off his debts and stave off, off any questions. But I can't understand why he would turn to arson and theft to be build his vacation homes. It just seems so random. Hm. <laughs> Where is your proof? Go ahead and run your story. With all uh, its wild speculations, I'll sue you in the newspaper for uh, libel. Suddenly confident, are we? And you all? The Bracer Guild does not have the authority to arrest me. I'm the mayor. I want you out of here, now. I guess he's right. He knows his rights. Mayor, may I ask you one question? What now? What is the student of the Royal Academy doing associating with such people? Disgraceful. Return to campus at once. <clears throat> Chloe looked uh, Mayor Dalmore directly in the eyes, her expression cold and stern. Why did you not use your own assets to pay off your debts? 100 million Mira is certainly a lot of money, but I think the house Dalmore surely has enough assets to settle the matter. This estate, for instance, it would easily sell for at least a hundred million Mira. Don't be ridiculous. This estate has been handed down in the Dalmore family for generations. How could I ever simply let it go? The orphanage was no different. For many it was a place fondly remembered. No one has the right to destroy something like that. How could you do such a thing? How dare you uh, liken this estate to that uh, dilapidated old hovel. You care for no one but yourself, more than being the mayor or being the head of House Dalmore, you pitiful man. Ha 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 ha. You have quite a way with words, young lady. But let's see if you'll change your tune in a few minutes. Where do you think you're going? Oh, hey, a secret passage. Fango, Bronco, come, it's dinner time. What the? That smell. Uh-oh. What the hell are those things? Monsters! My lord. Unbelievable. You actually keep monsters as pets? Everything you think you know will die with you here. Don't worry, if there's anything left of you, I'll dump it into the river. <clears throat> I agree, he is crazy. So, so fighting, uh, is fighting freaky monsters part of the stalling plan now? Well, at least now we can arrest him for trying to kill us. I'm sure the other stuff will stick too after this. I bear you both no ill will, but I will not allow you to harm anyone. Oh boy, I'm guessing this is the boss fight. Let's, um. You know, I have a feeling they don't even use uh, that stuff, but just in case. Eh. Art. Let's go. Hell's Gate. 
Uh oh, critical. <clears throat> Alright, so now. That is loud in my ears. There we go. Uh, Tira. Heal up. There we go. Okay, so down, doggos. Resist. Fine then, Hell's Gate. Resist time magic. Oh god. They hurt. They hurt a lot. Alright, uh. Nope, no chance. <clears throat> Dual strike. That seems to be most effective right now. Are they resistant to everything? Morale, go! Alright, uh, time for attack bird. Strength and defense down. Just in time to... Oh god, they... Oh, but they poison. Man, why do they get four turns in a row? And of course, now I'm poisoned. Great. Um... Let's see, 1540. You're weaker. Alright, lots here. I think it'll cover... Yeah, it'll cover both of them. And I get uh, the turn. <clears throat> Hearts. Tira. Um. Heal yourself up. Oh god. No, Chloe. Comet launches a ballistic wave of energy. Penetrate. Oh, she gets one of them as well, huh? Alright. I won't go until after them. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Gotta have something. Let's see. Cures. Cures seal. Cures freeze. Cures poison. That's good enough for me. Oh, learn recipe for floral jelly. Alright, just endure a bit more, Joshua. Not dead. That's not good. They're focusing on Chloe. Tira, heal yourself. Will this work on a dead person? Yes, it will. Oh my god. Chloe, I love you. Um. Alright, you're annoying. Get the hell out of here. Okay. I can't because he just got revived. See, firebolt on that thing. Of course. Um. about getting you he healed up not with her turn may as well do some practical if, if that's the case still no seriously fine then just heal the old-fashioned way items who cares there we go Oh, great. Ah, oh, man. Your status effects are starting to piss me off. Damn dog. Die. 
Alright, at least Dual Strike is slightly effective. Leave her alone! There. Okay, yeah, target Joshua. Make him able to hit you. Seriously, Joshua? I don't need this right now. I need this thing dead. Everyone's healed up for the most part. Hell's Gate. And you had to run out of freaking. Seriously, Joshua. Alright, fine. Uh. Regular attacks then. Stone Hammer. Uh, that didn't seem to do anything, so I want to go with. Uh. Aqua Bleed. I need access to physical attacks. Estelle, Art, Tira, yourself. All right, uh, Chloe, going for the actual physical strike. Here we go. <clears throat> Death throws. What? Oh, okay. I think that's uh, for its partner. If it was alive. All right. How about that, Dickwad? It can't be. My sweet babies. How could you do this? You're one to talk. In accordance with the Bracer Guild protocol, and, that, and this time with authority, we're placing you under arrest. Surrender and you will not be harmed. Huh. You leave me no choice but to use my trump card. Huh? A wand? Time stop. I can't move. Did he use an orbital art? No! This has to be an artifact! So what the hell is that? Well, well, your knowledge is impressive, Miss Rins. This is the Kronos Rod, an artifact which happens to be a family heirloom. It can completely paralyze anyone within range in the blink of an eye. That's crazy! How does the church not know about such an artifact? <laughs> With a tool crafted by wise ancients themselves, what else uh, would one expect? Tactical ornaments can't even begin to compare to this. S sadly, it is. it only has that one function. Which means I'll have to sully my hands and dispose of you myself. <laughs> you should consider this an honor. Let's see, I think I'll start with the smart mouth little brat first. Who are you calling smart mouth? Perhaps I'll save the intelligent girl for last. <laughs> now, what was that you were saying about authority? You could plead for your lives, if it might help, but I doubt it. To you? Yeah, right. Keep your filthy hands off. What's that? Keep your filthy hands off, Estelle. Don't you harm a single hair on her head. Or I'll use every technique I know to cut your miserable carcass to pieces. What? J Joshua. Joshua? You certainly talk big for someone who can't even wiggle his finger. Fine, I'll start with you. Stop! I'll never let you get away with hurting him. Oh no. Die. Oh, what? That light. Damn it. If I could just reach my camera. Wh what's going on? I can move again. Estelle, what was that black light? I, I don't know. But I think... It came from that ornament Dad sent us. Impossible. My family heirloom. My artifact. It's broken. It hardly matters, since you, you've you played your last hand. 
It's time to face reality. Yeah. I can't believe you'd really stoop this low. It's disgusting. Grr. I will not be taking in. After him. Okay. Hey, wait up. I can't let a story like this get away. You're going to be the reason he gets out of this, aren't you? Oh my, I believe I've lost a few years of of what little remains to me. My lord, are you alright? My lord. Oh, monsters, the monsters. Are you sure he went down this way? Niall, seriously. At least stay a, a decent distance back. Oh no, you don't. Hey, what's that? It's Mayor Dalmore's yacht. Hey, wait! We can go after them in this boat. Come on, you two, get on board. <laughs> Sorry, Nile. Uh, this is uh, a little more dire. Uh oh. Well, I'm sure, like, if you were, like, just on the side of the thing, you would have just gone for a comfortable little slide. That's all. <clears throat> all right, we're closing in. This crap is small and lightweight, so we have the edge, it seems. Damn stubborn little. Take this. It's a good thing she can block bullets. What? Huh, that'll teach you not to underestimate a bracer. Joshua, flank him on the right. Roger that. Huh? Oh great, are we running out of gas? The wind is blowing toward open water. It's catching his sail and giving him a boost. Not good. At this rate, the yacht has a clear advantage. We won't be able to catch up. Say what now? Ha! It looks like audio smiles on me today. I bid you farewell, brats. We have orbment magic. You gotta be kidding! We were so close! He's going to get away. There must be something we can do. What the? They're here. Uh-oh. Alright, getting away is all well and good, but now, what now? I guess I have no choice but to head for the Empire. Or, if I lie low for a while, maybe he... The Royal... the Imperial Army? What? You are under arrest. What the? Ah. So, who is this? It's the army, right? And thus, yet again, what's this airship? Is it the Royal Army? No, the coat of arms is wrong. It's the Royal Army ship, a high-speed cruiser. Her name is the Ars Arciel. Wow, wow. Looks like we got here just in time. That blue and white uniform. Are you Her Majesty's Royal Guard? Precisely. I am the company commander, Julia Schwartz. Mayor Morris Dalmore of Rouen. I am placing you under arrest for arson, robbery, and embezzlement, among other charges. This is a dream. It has to be. No. No, no, no. Whoop. <laughs> it's a good thing we stopped. What? What's going on? Jean, Jean called the Royal Army for reinforcements. But how'd they get here so fast? Hello there, Bracers. Your cooperation is greatly appreciated. Please, let us handle this matter.
It has something to do with Chloe. I pressed Mayor Dalmore for information once he regained consciousness, but he apparently can't remember anything regarding the past few hours very well, if he remembers them at all. He's also drawing a complete blank about the arson and robbery. Really? Kind of like the leader of the Sky Bandits. Maybe it's related to those men in black from before. Well, even if he can't remember, the crimes are pretty clear cut. It should go without saying that we'll be checking on his steward too. If we uncover anything, we'll be sure to let the Bracer Guild know. We appreciate it. By the way, Lieutenant, I have a favor to ask. What might that be? Would it be at all possible for me to get aboard that ship as well? It's supposed to be the most advanced airship ever to come out of Zeiss. It'd make for a great story, and I really need one. I'm afraid not. The Arsail was only just completed and is still undergoing flight testing. I must ask that you not comment on her until, uh, at all until she's officially av unveiled. What? Oh, come on! You've got to at least give me something ab about the mayor and his steward being arrested. Don't worry, the facts of the story will be given over to the Royal News Agency. Until then, please refrain from reporting any of this. <sighs> what choice do I have? Alright, I can do this. I can write a story with even the barest scrap of info. I've got to hurry back to the agency and put these events to paper. If you'll pardon me, everyone. Well, he, he's in usual high spirits. Huh. Would you expect any less? I'm told that the liberal news uh, circulation has increased dramatically of late. I hope he's not planning on, uh, to write a big propaganda piece. What do you mean? Never mind. That's quite impressive, First Lieutenant Schwartz. Who is this? Uh, Gate? Nope. Oh, it's uh, this dude. Colonel. Whoa. Colonel Richard. Oh, I remember you. I presume that you are the new bracers of the the guild spoke of? Er, oh, so you were the one Jean got in touch with, Colonel Richard? Yes, I received word at Layston Fortress, where the royal forces are stationed. I got here as quickly as I could, only to find that the crisis had passed. Excellent work, Lieutenant. Th that's very kind of you, sir. Still, I wonder... What would bring the guards from the royal city here, and so quickly? Perhaps you know of a route so secret that even our intelligence division is unaware of? J surely you jest. <laughs> Come now, Captain, this is hardly a time to pick a fight. I was simply admiring the proactive stance of the royal guardsmen. It's good to have you on our side. If, uh, if it please you, Lieutenant, we'll, ha we'll take over the investigation from here. Remove matters to a Layston Fortress. I believe the mayor will be well attended to there? Yes, sir. I understand. Now, if you'll excuse me. Ladies and gentlemen of the Bracer Guild and Royal Guard and the young lady in uniform. Fate willing, I think we shall see each other again. And with that, I bid you farewell. <laughs> Safe travels, everyone. Maybe I'm just imagining things, but did he, the colonel look like he was eyeballing Chloe, Chloe to anyone else? Oh, was he? I'm sure it's just because he doesn't see students very often in his line of work. I wouldn't make too much of it. <laughs> um, I'll bet you're right. That's probably it. Hmm, that's not Im the impression I got at all. I'm certain that he's just as impressed, uh, as surprised as you are. It's hard to believe that Bracer so young would be so capable. He might be scouting you out to become part of the Royal Guard. Oh, come on, don't flatter us. We had a lot of help on this case. You needn't be so modest. You're not fully fledged Bracers yet, but I presume that you wish to become so. Well, yes, we're training for it. We intend to travel all over the country before the Queen's birthday celebration as part of our preparations. 
I see. You're partake you're partaking in self study then. Lieutenant Schwartz, everything is ready for the CO's departure. Acknowledged. Estelle and Joshua, and Chloe too, of course. We must be leaving soon. I hope that our paths will cross again. Yes, ma'am. We'll be looking forward to it. Thank you very much. Regiment, attention! Whoa! Rural Guardsman wa Warship, our sail. Prepare to for takeoff. And there they go. Wow, a salute and fanfare to go with it. That's a little overwhelming. Yeah, and a state-of-the-art airship to boot. But I guess you'd expect as much from the defenders of Her Majesty the Queen. <laughs> True. Lieutenant Schwartz sure is cool, though. She kind of reminds me of the character that Chloe played, Oscar the Knight. I think so, too. <laughs> what an odd coincidence. Oh, here's the bird. Oh, don't tell me the Royal Guardsman showed up. And the Ar Arsail was there, too. She's supposed to be cutting edge. It's too bad I just worked the info desk. I'd like to have seen that. I never figured you you for the military enthusiast. Still, didn't you end up speaking to Colonel Richard? Yes, he was on duty at uh, Layston HQ. I don't know how the Royal Guardsmen got there so quickly, though. I guess there is a lot more cross-communication in the military than I thought. Amazing that they managed to communicate at all, given how many agencies there are. Regular Army, Border Patrol, Intelligence, the Royal Guard. It must be pretty complicated. Clean cleaning up after an incident like this will be a major undertaking. What will happen to the administration of Ruan from now on? Yeah, since the mayor's been arrested. I'd imagine they'll be sending in someone as acting mayor. And if Dalmore is found guilty, elections will have to be held. Plus, uh, reparations will probably be made toward the orphanage. Really? Thank goodness. All of this is thanks to Estelle and Joshua. Thank you so much, truly. Oh, come on. You don't have to be so formal. We just did what was right. Plus, it wasn't just us. A gate played a big part. Speaking of... Gene, uh, have you received any word from him? Yes, but unfortunately, I'm afraid he wasn't able to capture the men in black uniforms. They weren't... they were not alone, apparently. The gate was ambushed. What? Is he alright? Yes, he managed to defeat them. I believe he gave chase and they're on their way to Zace. But now he's probably well outside of Ruan. Wow, talk about hardcore. Well, he's got plenty of experience, after all. He'd, he's, he'd been chasing those black-clad uh, characters for a while. I think they're related to a job your father asked him to do. Dad asked him? And a gate just did what he uh, what he asked? Huh. Well, the one uh, to put a gate of the ravens in his place was none other than Cassius himself. And whatever he might like to claim, a gate stood no chance against him. Whoa, seriously? Cassius really beat some sense into him, and a gate's too stubborn to simply... Uh, say thanks and leave it at that. Uh, I get it. Maybe he that's why he's so abrasive when it comes to us. Abrasive barely covers that guy's attitude. Hmm. Guess he's not so high and mighty when Dad's involved, huh? <laughs> oh, speaking of your father. Something wrong? Um, what about that black orbment that lit up and saved our lives at the mayor's estate? Oh yeah, that's right. So much has been going on, I forgot all about it. I wonder what uh, that was all about. That orb may, may have saved our skin, but it was still weird. An unusually colored orb, man, huh? What can you tell me about it? Well... 
Estella explained that, along with a memo, had been in a package addressed to Cassius. Oh my, that's quite a story. Hmm, from Kay asking about Professor R. Could it be... You know what it means? Not specifically. I've got a hunch, but nothing to back it up. But if you want to know more about its origins, I'd suggest going to Zace. Why Zace? Also, it's raining now, so if you hear that, I uh, can't do anything about that. As you should know, Zace is famous for the manufacture uh, of orbments. There must be someone there who might uh, know something about your orbment. Makes sense. We may never learn more about uh, the Black Orbment without consulting an expert. But we still have more training here to finish. Huh, well, about that. You may want to prepare yourselves. Uh, what? Really? Huh, you have to have seen it co this coming. I mean, you got a recommendation uh, from Bose after the Sky Bandit incident. Given your crucial roles in all the cases recently, I see no reason not to award it. Your assessment and reward have been prepared. Festival help. 3,000 Mira, 5 BP. Oh, 10,000 Mira, hello, 10 BP. Wow, all this on top of the pay for performing in the campus festival? Thank you for everything you've done for us. Come, now you've earned it. I confess, I'd also like to see you advance as quickly as possible. I believe we'll be able to make the best use of your talents this way. Huh, thank you, Jean. We'll do our best to live up to your expectations. Congratulations, both of you. It'll be kind of lonely here without you, though. Chloe. You're right, it'll be tough to say goodbye. Oh, please don't mind me. I'm just being selfish. Will you please tell me when you find out uh, what day you're leaving? I'd like to see you off, at least as far as the Air Lenten checkpoint. Oh wow, really? The end of chapter 2. That was... That was pretty short. Save please. Chapter 2 end. And I got an achievement. Uh-oh. Is this following a gate? <sighs> Stubborn bastard! Hey, hey, hey! How the heck does he keep it up with such a huge sword? Damn, we can't shake him. We have no choice. Time to counterattack. I guess you're finally taking me seriously. Good. I was getting sick of playing tag with you fools. He's not giving up until he's dead. What a stubborn idiot. Does he think he can beat two to one odds? Huh, I think I already have. What? Every fight takes spirits. You lose that, you lost everything. And I figured out exactly what kind of spirit you losers had when you took off with your tails between your legs. Silence, Gilder Dog. We can handle you. You're in a you're in for a painful death. Ugh! Damn it! We can't get caught now. Heh, <laughs> okay. How about you just surrender and give me uh, your full confessions? Starting with who you are and what you're after. You need concern yourself about that. What? When did you get here? Commander, you came for us. You two are pitiful. You failed to report in as appointed, and this is why? We have no excuses, but we we had a, a lot of interference. I get it. So you're the man in charge. Huh. Only of this per particular scene. Allow me to apologize on behalf of my men. Can I persuade you to overlook this incident? Huh? Okay, repeat that. I said I'd like for you to overlook this incident. We never had any intention of running afoul of the Bracer Guild. Don't make me laugh. You think I'm just going to look the other way and let you get away with what you did? Ah, uh, well, I have thought uh, it a generous offer, personally. Certainly a fairer price than death. Both of you, stand down. 
Return to the rendezvous point at once. Yes, sir. Thank you, Commander. Where do you think you're going? Son of a... Fine. The target may have changed, but as long as I have one. And you being the leader, I assume uh, you've got better information to offer me than your underlings anyway. Huh. You think it'll be that easy to t uh, make me talk? I sure as hell tend to find out. Huh, not bad. Not bad at all. You have an uh, irre irre irrepressible passion, but a great weight bears down upon you. You are not quite so different from me. What did you just say? It's a painful thing to be powerless in a time of crisis, but you know that feeling all too well, no? I can see it in your eyes. Huh, fine then. I don't know who you are, but I think I like you. There is no shame in powerlessness. There is no shame in being outmatched. You and I both know that. Perhaps we could come to a mutually beneficial agreement. Arrangement. Screw you! Don't act like you know anything about me. You're in for one hell of a beatdown. All talk, no shock. Bet the guild's gonna love interrogating you. What the? Is that the body split craft? A gate sends something faint from the dark forest beyond. <laughs> nice try, but you've got a heavy heart. And a heavy heart makes for a light blade. Why don't you come out from hiding and say that? When a warrior enters a skirmish, he must prepare, be prepared to lose everything. Otherwise, he gain nothing. In order to live as a man, you must forge, uh, forego all anger and grief. With that, I bid you farewell. And he's gone. Forego? How the hell am I supposed to do that? Uh-oh, he's got a troubled past. Chapter 3, The Black Orb Man. Sweet. Guess she, she's not here yet. Did we get here that early? Could be. Want to kill some time at the tavern? Nah, it's nice out, so I think I'd rather just wait here. I doubt I could ever get tired of that view of the river. Alright, one second. Yeah, no kidding. I even get the feeling that Ruan's finally back to normal. Pretty amazing considering the uproar after Mayor Dalmor's arrest. Well, a seated mayor has never been arrested before. Try to imagine if Mayor Klaus was arrested in Roland. Yeah, that would be a real shock. But when I think of it that way, could the people of Ruan almost seem cold? I mean, they were clearly surprised by what happened, but not a single person tr was truly shocked, as far as I can tell. Well, you have to remember, the mayor of Ruan has always been selected by Bloodline alone. He wasn't elected uh, to his position by the Ru Ru Ruanians. And that probably makes uh, all the difference in the world. Yeah, that's true. The people of Roland appointed Klaus Mayor because they liked him and trusted him. Dalmor is getting what he deserves, but I still feel kind of bad for him. Hey, look who's here. Huh? He's a bird. Oh, Sieg. Estelle, Joshua. Hey, I'm sorry that I'm late. No problem. We just got here ourselves. Don't tell me you ran all the way here. I really didn't need a rush. I couldn't let you two go without seeing you off. 
Thank, uh, thank you very much for contacting me. Chloe, I keep telling you, you don't have to thank us. You too, C. Thanks for coming. Well then, shall we be off? Okay. We need to use the south exit to reach Zace, right? Yes, on the sou uh, southern road is a checkpoint called Air Latin. You can set out for Zace from there. Roger that. Okay, let's go. Oh, she's going to accompany, uh, accompany us until Zace. Or until the Air Latin. She did say that. Yeah. Uh, oh. Whoops! <laughs> Guess what I never did? I completely forgot about that. Yo, dude, sorry about that. Oh. Talk. Turn. Thank you. So did the goddess smile upon your rod today? So let me know if uh, you get hungry. I'll cook you the best meal you ever had. Well, he offered. All right, off we go. Uh, where am I? Seriously, where am I? Where am I going? There. All right. To Air Latin. I've been here before, but this is a nice little spot. The view here is breathtaking. Certainly doesn't feel like a checkpoint, that's for sure. Actually, I hear that a lot of visitors come here to see the waterfall. Really? Ruan sure has a lot of nice places, huh? I can understand why the Duke would want to live here. Agreed. But I think Roland is also a nice, relaxing place to live. Oh, you've been to Roland? Yes, I've... Uh, I've been there to all five uh, I've been to all five of the great cities oh that's right Zace is up ahead you'll be surprised how charming it is hmm really sounds like we're in for some fun all right why don't we uh, get the paperwork started then okay all right uh, so... Here we go. First. Oh yeah, we need to check in before we try and do something like that. Good afternoon, how may I be assistance? We were wondering uh, what had to be done to obtain p permission to enter Zace. Okay, step right up, I'll take care of you. Be aware of the uh, though, now once these procedures have begun, you will not be allowed to leave the checkpoint. Are you okay with that? Yes, we are. Then please start, uh, by signing these documents. Alright, everything looks to be in order. Is the young lady, uh, there not joining you? Oh, I only came to see them off. Ah, very well then. You'll be able to accompany them as far as the mouth of the Caldia Tunnel. Thank you very much. What's the Caldia Tunnel? It is the main road that joins this checkpoint to Zace. The path is a long tunnel that passes directly through Caldia Hill. Wow, an underground road? That'll definitely be a first for me too. Alright. So now, wow, look at that, beautiful. Wow, this is amazing. And loud, because waterfowls are incredibly loud. Huh, so the waterfall comes from a man-made river? I think it's called the, the Lotz Waterway. It was made a very long time ago. Yes, and it's linked directly to the Valeria Lakeshore. Pretty impressive, given that they did 
get it without any ornaments to help. So, what's that over there? That's the entrance to the tunnel, I think. Yeah. So, I guess this is goodbye. Yes. So, you're going to be traveling around the kingdom, right? We might be able to meet again in Grand Cell. Really? I'll be going back there when the Queen's birthday celebration starts. Some of my relatives will be there, so I have to join them. That's just a month away, isn't it? I think we may actually be in Gransall around that time. So then, once you're done with your family stuff, contact the Gransall Guild branch. If you do, we can try and meet up. I certainly will. Estelle and Joshua, I can't thank you enough. I won't ever forget everything you've done for me. Come on, don't be so formal. We're in your debt as well for many reasons. I'd say we're pretty even. What a thing to say. When when we confronted the mayor, I said some terrible things. You care for no one but yourself. But I was no different. Huh? I've been running away from the reality of my own situation for a while now. To the orphanage and to the academy. But the two of you taught me something. You helped me find the courage to hold my head high. And find the strength to protect what matters. Because of you, I know how to be brave. I don't really get it. But if we were able to help you, I'm happy. Oh. <laughs> Cheer up, okay? We'll see each other again in Gransel. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and maybe we'll get to see Seek there too, right? That was a joke, I mean. Gransel's pretty far away. I don't think those wings would hold. Besides, your home is here. <laughs> Sorry, Seek isn't just any bird, you know. I think he'll be there. I'm sure. <laughs> Sieg's just full of surprises, isn't he? Well then, shall we be off? Yeah. Hey, good luck to both of you on your journey. I'll be praying for you to find your father. Thank you. And you two take care. Yeah, I think I think so too. We'll see them again. Sorry to keep you waiting, Chloe. Miss Julia, you're done with your duties in Leiston Fortress? Yes, it took longer than I had anticipated. Pardon my rudeness, but I've come to get you your report on the incident. Thank you for your... Ah, I'm confusing my voice now. Thank you for your service... Aw. Now, now. Hey, now. Settle down, see. Have you been fulfilling your duty as an escort? Escort? He's always been very helpful. Isn't that right, Sieg? He's certainly chipper. The ar- uh, the ar- the sale is try- is stopped at the end of the highway. You're to report in there. Understood. I'll be leaving school for a while. I need to say goodbye to my teachers before returning to Grand Cell. Estelle, Joshua, I'll take what you taught me and show you that I can be strong. Stronger than uh, even you two. I'll do everything in my power to see that. Is she part of the Royal Army? Dang. Hmm? What's wrong? Nothing. I just got the feeling that someone was coming. Huh? There's someone in here other than us? Hmm. Guess not. Yeah. Sorry. Must have imagined it. Oh, I get it. Heh. I think you've still got a little crush on Chloe. Huh? What makes you say that? Oh, don't be shy. And you know I can read you like a book. It's not unreasonable, after all. I did, um, kiss her during the play. What if she asked you to come back? You'd say yes, right? 
I guess you didn't notice then. Notice what? The last scene. That was just for show, you know. It was staged, so it uh, would look like a real kiss for the audience. What? You can really, you can really be completely clueless sometimes. It was written right there uh, in the script notes. Oh, um, <laughs> I see. Note to self: Do not insert foot uh, into mouth. But why do I feel so relieved? Um, Estelle, you okay? Ah, I'm fine. Come on, come on, say so wait. And thus we are on our own again. Wait. Oh, really? Okay. I thought they would have said something right there. Well, I guess, like, we can go into the checkpoint to refill our health. But unfortunately, that's actually going to have to do it for this... A uh, long session. Uh, so yeah, this is the continuation of where I cut off. Uh, I can't do a full session today. Un or the, for the rest of today, honestly. So I'm going to have to call it here. And yes, um, I am aware that I missed uh, some hidden quests in uh, the Genesis Royal Academy. I'm just... I don't know. I, I didn't think that there would be. I'm just... I don't know. <sighs> Maybe I'm just an idiot. Maybe I wasn't thinking hard enough. Or what. But I just... Did not even think... Uh, that would be a thing. And it was. So... Uh, if I do it off screen... I don't know. Um, I may record it. <sighs> Actually, I probably wouldn't. I don't know. That that bothers me, but at the same time, this is my first run of the game, so I think this much is fine. And before I play, I didn't say anything about these. It just said the towers. That's all I remember for in terms of quests or travel. I went to the Emerald Tower and the Sephiroth Tower. Anyway, so whatever. Uh, I guess I'll just have to leave it at that. But, um, so yeah, next time we'll be heading to Zace. And then who knows what shenanigans will happen there. Uh, my prediction is, uh, sensing a pattern, we had two party members in Roland, Chapter 1, two party members uh, in Chapter 2, and that was uh, Chloe and Agate. So, chapter three, we're going to have two more. And considering I've seen what all the characters look like, so I know what they look like, but I know nothing about them. But we'll see. We'll see when we get there. All right. So, we'll do just that in the next session. So, have you guys a great day, night, evening, whatever time it is, and I'll see you then.